you know, he's not going to see Christmas. You know, he's not going to see his birthday. Um, we don't know if he'll see Thanksgiving. First tonight, a little boy's fight to live and a drug company's reluctance to give him an experimental drug that might save his life. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergy has one West Michigan family story. Joe. Yeah, seven-year-old Max Nunn's parents and his doctor are trying to convince a drug company to let him try a new treatment. It's an example of a common and growing dilemma in the world of medicine. On the Nunn family's kitchen counter are the dozen or so medications, keeping seven-year-old Max Nunn alive and comfortable. This is his Kepler's anti-seizure medicine. He takes that one twice a day. He's fighting brain cancer. His father doesn't talk about Max's prognosis. Even me and my wife don't. Um, speak of it, you know, to one another. We both know, um, you know, what we're up against. His doctors have tried every treatment available. One they'd like to try involves a drug so new it doesn't have a name. But it's not designed for the kind of cancer Max has. So far, the drug company won't give it to him. But Max's doctor thinks it might work. So the doc, Max's family, friends, and a whole bunch of Facebook fans are trying to get the company to change its mind. It appears California-based Genentech is listening. So as long as we're talking, as long as we're communicating, there's hope that it could work out. Max's case is an example of a common dilemma in the world of medicine these days. This is a time when there's a lot of exciting breakthroughs uh, and new medications that are coming out. But are we expecting too much too fast? It is normal. Human nature wants the results right away. And so it is frustrating sometimes that it takes a while. Dr. Cornelius says the process for getting new drugs to patients has greatly improved over the last decade, but there's still a need for safeguards to make sure the cure isn't worse than the condition. It's normal to be excited and to be hopeful and to really say this is going to be the one, but it's also important to be cautious and say we don't know for sure, and that's why we do these trials and that's why we try to test these drugs carefully. And in Max's case, they are convinced there's enough information out there to suggest that even though the chances of the benefits are low, the medication is safe. Even if it doesn't work for Max, it will still teach us something and it could be beneficial for somebody else in the future. And you can follow Max's progress on Facebook. We have a link at woodtv.com.